Richard Flora developed an irreversible and progressive fatal lung disease called pulmonary fibrosis. He had been a brick mason for many years. They believe that that is the uh, scarring mechanism that created the fibrosis. As Richard's condition worsened, his doctor referred him to the University of Washington Medical Center in Seattle. The lung transplant team performs over 50 life-saving transplants each year, with patient outcomes and survival rates far better than the national average. Greetings. You might have hit the lottery today. Mark Wilson's sister died just weeks before Mark developed a dry cough. Dr. Ganesh Raghu, a leading researcher in pulmonary medicine, included Mark in a clinical trial of treatment for the disease. He came to see me. He sought my medical attention for um, management of his uh, pulmonary problem, which was uh, fibrosis, a condition called scarring of the lungs. When folks get to be to the point where they've actually gotten sick enough to require a diagnosis, they have about three years to live. After nearly a year, the clinical trial medications proved ineffective, and Mark's health reached an acute stage. Dr. Michael Mulligan, head of the University of Washington's lung transplant program, transplanted new lungs for Mark. When you're ready, gigantic deep breath in. Amazingly, two months after his surgery, Mark was able to go home to Alaska. And after three months on the transplant list, Richard Flora had a successful double lung transplant. He remembers the moment when the breathing tubes were removed. Once they take it out, it's like, you, you, now you can breathe on your own and everything, it's just amazing.